All right, Marty's back to talk about this Rempe elbow. He gets five in a game, Marty, but how much more do you expect him to get from the Department of Player Safety? Well, for me, it's a three-game suspension. Look, I know Brendan Gallagher got five games, Charlie McAvoy got four, and those were two of the four suspensions this year for a legal hit to the head. But I think that Gallagher and McAvoy were more impactful. There was more of a force behind it. This is Rempe coming across Rule 48, right? You have to avoid the head. You cannot extend your elbow. You cannot just pick the head clean. He had a chance to deliver a clean hit to Siegenthaler and go right through the body. He decided to go in front and go with the left elbow to the jaw. So it's more than a Connor Clifton two-game suspension, in my opinion. It's more than the Howden two-game suspension earlier in the year uh, on Tanev in, when it, Vegas and Seattle played. So I'm looking at three for Rempe. And look, this, game, this kid has played 10 games in the NHL, but he's already got a bit of a rap sheet, right? So no history with the Department of Player Safety. But I think they'll consider how eventful his 10 games in the NHL have been so far. Yeah, and we've heard from uh, Curtis McDermott as well. On Monday, he was calling for Rempe to fight for that hit on Nathan Bastion a few weeks ago, and he continuously turned him down. He also wasn't a fan of him waving goodbye as he left the ice. What did you make of that situation? Well, first of all, I think it's smart for Rempe not to fight Curtis McDermott. The guy is a heavyweight, and Rempe's had a lot of fights. Uh, and maybe he's got to cool it down. So you don't have to fight Curtis McDermott in that situation. Now, the wave after you're being ejected for an elbow to the head, a five in a game, and you go out and wave the other team, I don't like that at all. Look, I mean, you are the guilty party in there. Just put your head down, go to the locker room, that's it. You know that there will be even more fireworks now the next time the Devils play the Rangers because of the Bastion hit, because of McDermott wanting to fight Rempe, him refusing to, and now this suspension most likely for Rempe. So, um, no, this is not minor hockey. You don't have to antagonize everybody. This is the NHL. You know, lick your wounds, get off the ice, and be a professional about it. Rempe now up to 54 penalty minutes in uh, those 10 games, Marty, that you mentioned, and just one goal. It was a fun story, you know, the week he was called up. But what are your feelings now about Rempe at this point, kind of a few weeks into his career? Well, I actually like him as a player. Yes, he's tall. He can fight. He can be physical. He's got a good reach. He's a decent skater. There's a lot there that I like about Rampe, but you got to be smart about how you go about it. I think early in his first few games, he fought Martin. He fought Delorier. He fought Olivier. He fought everybody. And two of those fights, he didn't look good at all. This hit in where he jumps, you know, against, you know, Lil uh, it was... Um, and Lubushkin and the Toronto Maple Leafs, like, you can't deliver those type of hits. I think right there, it should have been, hey, settle down here. You're almost crossing the line. And obviously, he did cross the line against the New Jersey Devils. So, look, he could be very effective, and the Rangers can use him down the stretch and into the playoffs. But you got to be smart about it, and you can't put yourself, you know, in the, in the crosshairs when it comes to the Department of Player Safety or the other teams wanting to retaliate when you cross the line with the hits that you're given.